All right, we are back again for day two of the Yabat yeah Challenge. Yesterday we talked about Yabat. Yeah I don't have time. And this one is closely re related to no time or not the right time because today we're asking, what do we do about the Yabat yeah in our head that says, Yabat, yeah not yet? So it is closely related to time because we're saying, not yet. Not this time, but at a later time, I might be ready. And this can sound like that. Yeah, but I'm not ready. Or, yeah, but it's not ready. Or, yeah, but I've got to wait for X, Y, Z. Or maybe, yeah, but I just need a little more what. So those kinds of phrases can be clues for this big barrier that's preventing you from doing the thing that you say you want to do. Yeah, but not yet. And today let's get looking at what we can do about that. The thing about it is, you know, yesterday we talked about time and if you did that challenge and you thought, oh yes, well actually I can make time for it. If I say I want to do it, I can make time for it and I'll do it at this time. And you book it into your calendar and you, you know, find a spot to uh, make it happen. Um, you get the time thing stored it, sorted, then this one might come in next. You know, the next reason why you can't do the thing you say you want to do is because, uh, well, even if you have the time, you're still not quite ready. It's not quite the time yet. So that's the thing about these yeah buts. You sort one out and the next one comes up. Hi, ladies. Um, so let's think about this. What is it we're waiting for? That's what we want to ask today. We want to face this head on and we want to think about that little message that's coming up when we think about doing something like writing a book or some other thing that we say we want to do. Um, it could be that you are waiting for more training more skills, take another class, get something else under your belt in some way. You could be feeling like you need to wait for more experience, more practice, more testimonials, more proof that you know what you're doing, more proof that it works, more proof that it matters. Um, maybe you're waiting for more information. You know, wait, you're waiting and thinking it's not quite the right, there's a piece missing, I need something else, I'm not quite there yet, I'm waiting, I need more, I'm not ready. It's those phrases we're looking at. And again, this one is a really super logical barrier, right? Like this may very well be true. You might be able to look at this and say, yeah, I'm not quite ready yet, I need... X, Y, Z. But that's the thing about those yeah buts. That little grain of truth in them makes them very easy to stand as a barrier and then we don't make progress with what we say we want to do. So let's get real about this today. When that phrase comes up, the yeah but that says not yet in some way, let's look at it head on and ask this question. What exactly are you waiting for? Be clear about it, be specific, face it head on, and recognize exactly what you're waiting for. Because how will you know when you've got it if you don't know exactly what you're waiting for? So here's your homework, to, to look this head on and, uh, and figure it out what you're waiting for. Start with you know grabbing a piece of paper and Start with brainstorming what you already have right now on the page. So if you're feeling like, oh, I need to wait for, you know, a bit more training. I, you know, I need to take another class. I need to finish that program. You know, just right now, what have you already got? Put that down on the page. You know, if it's experience, if it's information, if you're like, oh, I feel like I don't have all the, you know, bits and pieces I need to, say, write a book or to teach that class or to create that offer, um, what you need is more information. Write down what you have right now. So that's step one. What do you already have? Recognize it. Put it on the page. Make a list. Do a brainstorm. Put it all down there. Where are you already at? What do you already have? Then ask the question, okay, so now what exactly are you waiting for? 
The reason we start with what we have now is, again, something. sometimes it's that grain of truth there, you know, that feeling that we're not quite ready um, that keeps us from stepping forward. And we forget to recognize, well, actually, I have done quite a lot, and I have actually compiled a lot. You know, I felt like I wasn't ready last year when I had this conversation, but maybe I actually am more ready now. So it's that recognition you might be further along than you thought. But also, you might actually be able to see the gap that needs filling. So if you're doing something like writing a book and you, 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 know, you feel like you're waiting for a bit more information, there's a piece missing, there's, you know, there's some things that aren't quite in place yet for you to really write everything you want to write or have all the chapters you want to have, you won't know what the gaps are unless you actually sit down and start figuring out what you do have already. The other thing I think that happens is we get all that stuff out of our head and we can see those gaps and now there's space for them to be filled. So that happens a lot, especially with something like writing a book or mapping out a program or a course or, you know, something that you want to create. You realize actually all this stuff had to get out of your head to make the space for what you're waiting for. So figure out what you already have, then ask the question, what else am I waiting for? What exactly am I waiting for? Is there a gap that needs filling? Is there some proof or some evidence or some information that you know, you're waiting for? Maybe the right person will show up. Maybe you know, that little bit of proof that shows you actually ready, more ready than you thought you were, um, that you don't have anything else you need to wait for. You've actually got this. Um, ask for it. Ask for it. Whatever it is you are waiting for, put it on the page and figure out what it is and then ask for it out loud. You know, dear universe, I'm waiting for what exactly? I don't feel ready yet. I'm waiting for this. Um, and then be open to receiving it. It could be a person that pops up. It could be a bit of information. It could be that evidence that you actually are ready. So that's your homework. That's what I want you to do today to conquer this yeah but of not yet. Why not yet? Let's face it head on and get clear about it, not just keep you know, going with that feeling that's inside or that, you know, belief that we have inside that it's not the time yet, I'm not ready yet, I'm waiting for, I need a little more, but let's face it head on. Once again, here's your exercise. First, start with what you already have, everything you already have. Then figure out exactly what it is you're waiting for. Name it, state it. What is it that you're still waiting for? And then ask for it and be open to whatever comes because it can, it can sneak up in you in different ways. Um, I'll just quickly tell you a story that when I thought I wasn't ready yet, it wasn't the time yet to write the book that I wrote, um, I felt like I needed some more training, some more skills, like I felt like I needed some something else there. Um, and then, you know, when I recognized that's what I was waiting for, I picked up a book that somebody had given me and I started reading it. And the whole time I was reading it, I was going, uh-huh, yeah, I knew that. Yeah, I actually already do that. Yeah, I teach people that all the time. And I had this aha moment where I was like, dude, I am ready. Like, I do have everything I need. I just needed to see that, you know? So sometimes, as I said, this is a very valid reason to wait. If you actually are waiting for something, um, that's great, but know what it is and be open and ready for it to happen. Because otherwise, that yeah but just becomes the barrier that we keep using. A year from now, you could still be saying, yeah, but it's still not quite time yet. So face it, see what it is you're waiting for, name it and ask for it. That's my homework for you. Uh, tackle this yeah but. We're hanging out over in the Lighthouse Revolution community. I'll put the link in the comments. Pop on over and share your yeah but. Share what it is you're waiting for. You can practice asking for it right there in the group. Tell us what you are waiting for. We'll see you over there. Bye.